Keep calm everyone, it's time for Americans watching British TV. Welcome to Shooting Stars, a celebrity TV quiz. Well, sort of. This time it's a real game show Shooting Stars, featuring alternative comedians Vic Reeves and Bob Mortimer, along with a cast of celebrities, not all of whom were in on the joke. It ran for a total of six seasons and is without a doubt one of the weirdest shows ever commissioned by the BBC. Nice move. Though in my opinion, it's also one of the best. Iran. Will America agree? Is it, it looks like a Wii okay. game. You know what? A for effort. That was good, like, commitment. Eve Argonne, she's reached gravely, cry the folk of Ilkley Moor, but at, as she strides down the high street, displaying her well-rounded, beautifully formed Yorkshire puddings. <laughs> Do they call part of her body a Yorkshire pudding? <laughs> so. On Team A, please welcome Stephen Fry. Stephen Fry? Introducing Team B, please welcome Wolf. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's the man with the scores, it's George Dog. <laughs> Um. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Funny how it seems. Zero percent. This makes sense. An adult heron's beak is longer than a curly whirly. True, false. <laughs> how yeah. many people on this show are famous? All of them. What? Uh, what about right. Wolf? What about <laughs> Yes. Is he famous for being a murderer? <laughs> He's really focusing on. I think why, this is just why her. <laughs> Maybe it's because there was a joke about penises and her last name is Cox. Oh. oh. <laughs> Do you think those guys are friends in real life? Uh, I, I assume one of them has murdered the other. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving on a jet plane. Oh. Yeah, it is, but where are they? Peter, Paul, and Mary there. Now, can you name three other three piece bands? That whole clip was just setting up, and can you name three piece bands? It doesn't work! It doesn't matter if it works! It doesn't work! It doesn't, it's not I mean, in her defense, why doesn't her buzzer work? <laughs> Who's that guy? He's no, on some kind of like doctor show. <laughs> doctor Who? Now, it's an open round, so we really want to see those fingers. fingers. Chris. Oh. Oh. The dog from above. If you could go, please. What the fuck is happening? Uh, it's a uh, CG? No, no that's, that's CG. a bird on strings. So the giant glowing dove tells them categories. Yeah, that is its prime function. Iran. <laughs> Show. Well, that brings us uh, to the e oh. What they just stop what they were doing to do this? <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> Handshakes. When the time is up, you hear this noise. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> But it seemed like they were having fun. I bet if I got it, it would have been really funny. Um, it was bizarre, but it was also pretty entertaining. It looked, it looked like 80s America, so 90s Britain. <laughs> Which is not, not meant to be offensive. It was sort of like best friend clubhouse vibe to it, where they just kept doing secret handshakes and kind of just were doing whatever they want, which was sort of charming. No. I don't know if all of the, like... In, like, the drummer that comes out dressed in, like, a swimsuit. I don't know if the specifics would work in America. I don't think people in the U.S. like feeling dumb, and I feel like this this would make people feel dumb because they wouldn't get it. They're both really satisfied with themselves when they make a joke. 
It was just a little hammy. Then when they both get something to happen and they go for that special handshake, they're just so happy. I get it, but I'm not laughing. And if they can make fun of a woman, they are just over the moon. That's not a cat, it's a fish.